does hair color change following medication or post-surgery? So two different ways of looking at this. So let's start with medication. Yes, we often see hair color darkening when you go on medication. We're not fully sure why that is. It could be that you increase the size of the hair follicle with medical therapy and it's able to contain more pigment, or it could be that you actually help stimulate the production of more of the product that actually colors your hair. But yes, we see it quite frequently. One of the first signs we often see when people come in with early androgenetic alopecia is that you actually start to see a difference between the fuller, thicker hair that's a little bit earlier or along that phase of loss compared to where you're starting to see the process emerge. You can see a little bit of a hypopigmentation, a loss of color in areas, typically just around the temples and at the crown. And then with successful therapy, which happens in about 90% of patients, you start to see that just revert to a degree. So that's medication. Second one is surgery. What you're doing with surgery is you are taking some of your most resilient hairs from the back, this donor area, and you're taking them and you're placing them at, typically at the front of the, the hair, around the forelock, around the hairline, where the hair has been miniaturizing. So in that area, you've got hair that's decreasing in number and quality. And what you're putting in there, it's not just more hair, strategically placed, better hair is also put there. So what you start to see is that again, you see a richer color develop. It takes an awful lot of skill, however, to try and ensure that there's a good balance there. That when you're taking this richer color, it's nicely placed and there's the homogeneous distribution of colors so that you're getting a natural effect. 